Hello everyone, my name is Carlos and on this video I'm going to show you how to publish a dashboard. Stay tuned. In order to publish a dashboard, you will need at least two things. The first one is you will need to make sure that the role that you're using to publish a dashboard has the publish dashboard permission. In order to do that, as an administrator, you can go to setup, user roles, and manage roles. You will need to locate the specific role that you are using. Then you'll go to permissions, setup, and you'll need to add the publish dashboard permission if it's not here. In this case, I already have it, as you can see. The other thing is you need to make sure that the role that you want to publish the dashboard to has the same center type. In this case, you can also confirm that by going to the roles, manage roles, and you can sort this column right here by center type. In this case, I'm using this role to create the dashboard and I want to publish the dashboard to this, to the CEO role. And, and as you can see, they both have the same center type. So I'm good. Let me switch to the role that I'm going to use to publish the dashboard. Well, first, let me show you how this dashboard looks like. And let me show you how the dashboard for the CEO looks like. So you can see they are very different. Let me switch back to this one. Okay. In order to start the process, you will need to go to the settings portlet and you will need to click here, publish, publish dashboard. Once you do that, you will arrive at this screen. You will need to give it a name, corresponding ID and a description or notes if you want to. And you will see this information right here. This information is pretty good. Uh, it basically summarizes the things you need to watch out for when you are creating a dashboard. Okay. And down here in apply to roles, you will need to select the corresponding role that you want to publish to. And one important thing to watch out here is this column right here override existing users setting. In this case, when you check this, that, that means that you will essentially override and publish the dashboard to all users using this role. If you uncheck that, then only new users assigned to this role will see the new dashboard. Okay. This go in this case, I'll check this because I want everyone in that role to see the new dashboard. Another thing to note here is these two boxes. When you check this lock shortcuts checkbox, you will essentially tell NetSuite that the user in that dashboard will not be able to modify the links in their shortcuts portlet if there is any included in that dashboard. Okay. And this one right here, if you check this, then you will tell NetSuite that the, the user will not be able to modify the new bar icon. That is this icon right here. Another th important thing to know here is this sub tab right here. In this case, I'm checking all of these rows because I want the user not only to see the new home dashboard, but I only, I also want them to see the dashboard content from all of these tabs right here. And I'm choosing add or move content because I want the user to be able to rearrange the content of those on the dashboard on those tabs, but I don't want the user to remove any content. If I want the user to be able to rearrange and remove content and add content, then I'll need to choose unlocked. Okay. And you can use this information right here in order to understand better what these options mean. Okay. Now we are ready to publish the dashboard. 
let's hit save and I'll switch over to the CEO role and as you can see the CEO is able to see the new dashboard this warning right here is actually very important even though you are publishing a dashboard to a new role uh, another role the users in that other role need to have permission to see the content in that dashboard right in this case as you can see the ceo role doesn't have permission to see the content on this portlet in also the same same thing happened in this other portlet so in addition to making sure that you have permission to publish a dashboard that you are using the same center type you also need to make sure that the content that you are publishing in that dashboard the other role or user has this permission the permission to see that specific information in their role okay thank you for watching this video if you found it useful give us a thumbs up and remember you can also find lots of other accounting software tips at our website at www.fusiontaxes.com